Hey y'all, it's Courtney, and I am back with another video, and as you guys can see, I finally did a thing. Something to up my production value, like, the tiniest little bit. Um, still low budget, still, you know, a trailer park genius, but I figured that, you know, I could at least do something. Um, I wanted to get this before Halloween, because I just liked the way it looked. And then whenever I went to Walmart the other day and everything was 50% off and this was like 10 something and it had a, a 250 tag on it. And I was like, I got to get it because I wanted it anyways. So here it is. I decided to put it on the wall um, just to, I don't know, you know, give, give it an appearance like I'm at least trying a little bit. So anyways, today I have got... Ipsy, November 2020, and let's see what we got in here. Jeez. Guys, I'm absolutely in love with these eyeshadows. These, um, should be one more. I don't know where it's at. Oh, there it is. These, uh, you can be cream glitter eyeshadows dude i can't get enough of them they're so freaking gorgeous i mean even the blue i was gonna wear the i was gonna wear the blue and i mean like look at that because obviously i have blue and purple and uh whatever but look at that blue like it's just so pretty i love i love anything that has a shift to it they're so cool anyway so not about that stuff right now okay so let's see what's in here Okay, all right, I, I, I mean, I'm not mad at it, not really, it's okay, it smells really funny, Whew. it smells really funny, it smells like really bad chemically, chemical smell, maybe it's just the plastic from the bag, or maybe it's one of the packaging inside, um, I'm guessing that that's probably what it is, I don't think it's actually the bag, but there's something in here, I think, yes, oh, Oh, cool. A perfect 10 and MOTD. That's me. I know that this brand is makeup of the day. I think MOTD makeup of the day. I believe I'll look on the card, but this is really nice. Um, I really like this. I think that this is a contouring brush, I believe. Ooh, okay. Now, I was starting to get a little mad at Ipsy. I was starting to be like, damn, dude, like, why am I paying for this? But this right here is worth well over $12 alone. So, all right, Ipsy, I see you. Um, ooh, super soft. Really nice. I'm sure it's synthetic. Um, we don't do real animal fur here. Um, I, I just wouldn't use it if it was real animal fur. Um... I've really been trying to weed out everything that isn't uh, cruelty-free in my collection. But this is so nice. Oh, my God. I have to read on the card to make sure what this is. Because I don't think that that's a... Um, maybe it's a powder brush. I don't know, though, because it's got, like, that pointed tip. So I definitely think it's, like, a contour brush. That's what it looks like. Oh, man. That just, like, really buffed out my stuff fast. I forgot to do it anyways, so. That's really nice. Even if this is not for contour, it's going to be for contour now. Because that did a really nice job diffusing my contour. Um, so yeah. First thing, good. Like it. Next thing. CC, it looks like. Full time eyeshadow palette dinner party duo and i didn't pick anything this month so i don't know what i'm getting um i forgot to go on and pick my item so there's that that's really nice packaging i like the gray oh that is really pretty that's really nice um yeah, this reminds me exactly of my, the one and only Urban Decay product that I have, 
Let's see, um, Urban Decay, uh, Space Cowboy Eyeshadow. Really, really pretty. It's just like a really, it's not really got a color to it, but it's just that shimmer that you put over anything else. It's really pretty. I love it, but this seems to have like a, a shade to it, of course. I would definitely wear this um, if I was going somewhere where I want to dress up, but not do a crazy look. That shimmer is out of this world. Beautiful. I'm definitely impressed this so far. Wow, that's really pretty. Might have to do a um, a nude look just, just to get the use out of this, because that is really pretty. I like that. So, two for two so far. Good. Um, let's see what's here. This is... Ico Rock Out and Lash Out Mascara Beatnik Black. That's cool. Nice. Like this. I love mascara. Um, I put a thing on my Twitter page the other night and was like, oh, look at that brush, too. That's a neat looking brush. Never seen one like that. I've never seen one like get that skinny and then wide at the end. I think that's for the, the inner corner lashes. Super cool. I like that a lot. I'm going to be trying this out next time I do my makeup. Um, but if you could only pick one makeup product for the rest of your life, what would it be? For me, mascara, 1,000%. Um, I already have long lashes, and it's amazing what a tiny bit of black pigment can do um, for your face. So, last two products. Let me look at this one first. Oh, okay. All right. Tarte Shape Tape. This is awesome. Double Duty Beauty. And it's actually pretty light. Probably a little too... Not going to say that it's light enough for me because... Let's, let's be fair here. Um, it's, tw it's 12 in fair neutral. And I'm, like, fair ghost. So, that's, you know, that's my skin tone, ghost. So, I don't know, though. It, it looks like it might. Let's, let's swatch it. Screw it. I don't know. Wow. That, uh, it's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty perfect, isn't it? Okay, Ipsy. All right, I see you. Doing good this month. I, I am impressed. One last thing. I don't know what this is. Just, just box. Oh, it's perfume. Okay. That, hopefully that's not what I was smelling. But it's a pretty box. Um, Feather Supreme. Um, so it stays good for 36 months, apparently. Just Box Perfumes Feather Supreme Natural Spray. Okay. We're gonna do a little spritz here. That's actually a good size bottle too. I have a couple um, Victoria's Secret ones, mini rollers that um, you just put it in your purse, and they're only a little bit bigger than this. And I think I paid twelve dollars for those, so it's pretty good. They're so little, I'm afraid I'm gonna break. Or so like thin, skinny. I don't think this is for me. Um, it smells good, but it has like that. What is, what is that? Like a spice, like a kind of like a spice smell. I don't know how to explain it, 
let's let's see if we can find the um let's This product is a result of careful selection of raw materials. Therefore, any change in color should be considered as natural feature due to the quality and quantity of natural ingredients. Whatever that means. Let's, do we have a card in here? Something's itching me. Ah. Let's see if we have a card so we can see what the notes are in that. Because I'm not really a fan, but that would make a nice little gift for somebody, right? I'm not like, you know. I'm not going to give somebody that for Christmas and say, here you go, but just, you know. Okay, so the Tar Shape Tape, Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape, um, the Rock Out, uh, Lash Out, Mascara, cool. Uh, okay, so Just Box Perfumes, Feather Supreme, Et Du Parfum. Um, if you could bottle that feeling when you turn on a song you love, this perfume would be it. Inspired by the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, it's warm and inviting notes of jasmine, tuberose, rose, mandarin, apple, musk. It's a musk. That's it. Um, we'll have you hooked with the first spritz. Tip. Spritz onto your pulse points, like behind your ears, your wrists, obviously. That's where I put it with my wrist. Um, and your inner elbows. Uh, deluxe sample, MSRP of the full size version is $190. Jesus Christ. Um, that's crazy. I would never pay that much per for a perfume. I don't care what it is. Well, you know what? I'm not going to lie. I am very tempted to spend $100 on a bottle of perfume. I've been wanting it so bad. It's um, hard candy. Hard candy. Um, it's in this green, it's in a green bottle, 